ready. Okay. Okay. Good. The video is not boring. Sorry if I was. Sorry, I have a wobbly tooth. Okay. Sorry about that part. It just went a bit laggy. Okay, so in today's video, I'm showing you how to make a squishy with paper. And okay, so obviously you will need some paper. That's the title. I'm getting two because if I make a mistake, then I can start again on the other paper. You will need some pens to colour it in if you want to. I mean, you. I mean, you. You don't have to, but if you want to do the outline and the pencil, you can. But I'm not. I'm just going to use the pen. You will need some scissors. You might need a ruler, depends what you're doing. And you will need some cellar tape. And last of all, you will need some tissue. I'm going to get the tissue at the end, so um, I can put it in at the end. Okay, so I'm going to be making a squishy kawaii cookie, I think it's called. Yeah, no, just a cookie, a normal cookie then. Because if kawaii cookie is an American thing, I'm not an American. So, okay. And. Okay. Firstly, you will want to get. Let's move these out of the way. And firstly, you will want to get your paper. And. Firstly, you will want to get your paper. Remember to save some. And fold it in half. Just like you're doing a part, basically. Fold it together like a card. Okay. Now it should look like this. So, like that. Like a card, basically. Fold it like a card. And then we have it on the paper if you did a mistake. Okay. Make sure it's nice and flat so it doesn't jog your. Okay, next you either want to get your pencil or your colouring pen and start drawing what you want to draw. I'm drawing a cookie so I'm just going to do it in brown. And it might have some different colours like. Um... No, I'm just going to do a cookie with chocolate chips. Remember, if the first one goes wrong, don't worry, because you have your paper. But you could still make some out of it. Or, you, I mean, you could just use the other side and stick on this side. I think I went a bit wrong, so I'm going to go on the other side. Eaten. Okay, I think that looks much better. That looks much better. 
Okay, so I have done this cookie now, and it's much better than this side. Okay, so this cookie has been half beaten. It is a bit bad, but I think it's much better. But I might chuck this away, I'm not too sure. Then it'd be a waste. Okay, then you want to. I'm going to add eyes onto my cookie so it just looks really cartoonish um, and stuff. So I'm going to add a few more. I'm going to add some eyes. It's going to look cute. If you want, you can add some um, eyes to yours, but it, it, it might look weird, but I think it would look fine. Depends what it is, really. if it was like a phone. I don't know why you use that eyes or something. I don't know. On this one, the eyes look really odd, so I forgot the kind of, and I made it a bit too small, but I think it would still look fine. Yeah, that still looks alright. It looks a bit creepy, but it still looks good. Now I'm going to add some chuck chips. We all love chuck chips. Not everybody does them. Okay, once you've added, once you've added like some chat chips, you want to colour it in, maybe if you want to colour it in. So I'm now going to colour mine in, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Once I've coloured it. I'm back. Okay, so I've done, I've coloured all of it in. Okay, and now I'm gonna now I'm gonna get my scissors. You can pause it if you're not at the same point as me. Right there. Um, I'm gonna get my scissors and start cutting it out. Ask an adult if you need help to cut it out. I'm really going to ask my mum to cut the bitten area out because I'm not really good at cutting. Okay, 
I decided not to cut those parts out. You could have, I mean, you could have drawn on the back, I thought to say that. Okay, now it should look like this. I do not know why that is much different to this side. I mean, I cut both of the sides up, but they don't really matter. Okay. Then you want to, and mine like fell apart, but I think it would still work because I can still tape it up. Okay. And you want to get your sellotape and still tape only half of it, not all of it, because you need to put tissue in it. So, I don't even edit that. I'll be there in a minute, guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, I will put your um, sellotape on the table or something when it will hold it. And then you want to cut half of it out. Oh, a little bit. Not too much. Because it'll be a bit too big for the whole thing. Okay. I've got about this much out. Maybe you could do the same as me. Cut about roughly the same as me, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. You want to sell a tape this on the bottom at the end here. Okay. Okay, so then you want to sell a tape that but both sides. Okay. For me, this might not turn out very good. And if it's not helpful, I'm really sorry. But I tried my best to help you do it. Because I'm not really good at making things. Like, I can tell I will not be a really good artist if I do to be one. I mean, like, I don't really know. But yeah. And then I just want to be very good. But that's in the future. I'm just a kid right now who has a YouTube account. And I like making these videos for you. It should be opening like that. I mean. If it doesn't, you've either put too much silver tape on, or it's either too small and you've just put too much silver tape on, too small and you've just covered the whole thing in silver tape. But, mine's fine. Because if it was too small and you covered the whole thing in silver tape, then the silver tape would just go across the whole thing. Across the whole thing. I'm just Okay, I put about three pieces of t of um cellar tape on, and now I'm gonna put a bit. T I don't know if I should put. I'm not gonna put any more on, but now I'm gonna get the tissue. Okay, okay once you have the tissue, I've got three parts of the tissue. You want to scrunch it up into little balls. Not too teeny, like, until they look like that. Okay. Then you want to stuff one ball in the paper. Stuff it in. Then you want to stuff the next ball in. Then the next bullet went until it gets full up. You can go and grab some more if you want. But I'm just using three because that's the most I need. Really. 
I might use two because this one's a bit stuck. Really? I don't want it to break. Okay. But I'm sure you can use the other one for something else. Okay. Now you want to go and set a tape all, all of the rest up around all the tissue area so you can't see any of the tissue and it all closes up. So while you're doing that, I'm going to pause the video and show you what it should look like after. Okay, so now I've sedated, sedated it all up, and it now looks like this. Now looks like this. I mean, mine does look a bit bad because it looks weird because I just sedated it all up and. Celebrate. But, um, yeah, it kind of looks good as well. And it's squishy a bit. Yeah, it's kind of squishy. Okay, so, um, I hope you like this DIY. Um, if you don't know what DIY means, it means do it your. Yeah, do it yourself. Because do. It D I yourself. Okay, so that's what it means. And um, please comment down below your DIY videos and more of the DIY squishy. Videos. So I will make some more. If you found it helpful, please like. If you enjoyed it, like. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you're new and um click the notifications button so you see when I um upload and you'll be the first one. Um and I forgot um what else I said um, yeah um so please subscribe comment and like to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.